Hi, this is Chris, the SAT tutor at Magoosh, and I've had over 15 years experience helping students ace the test. And today, we're gonna to talk about a special kind of math problem that you're likely to see on the test, and it is called exponential growth. Now, how do you recognize that you're dealing with this kind of problem? Well, it's usually gonna talk about populations of something, typically bacteria. Don't ask me why, but they like to say, there's a colony of bacteria that has one million bacteria in there, and in three hours, there'll be three million bacteria, that kind of setup. And then they ask you, in, you know, in two days, how many bacteria will they be? When you see that, then you know for sure you are dealing with an exponential growth problem. So to see how this actually looks, let's have a look here. So let's take a look at a growth rate question. And let me read it out. The number of bacteria in a colony is 1 million. If the number of bacteria increases by 10% every hour, how many bacteria will there be after four hours? Now that might look like an intimidating question, and it is, but it might not be intimidating as you think. On the SAT, they don't necessarily want you to calculate out all these numbers. They just want to make sure that you understand the basic equation. And what I'm going to show you here are the component parts of that equation, starting with what is known as growth rate. So growth rate is the percent by which something increases over a fixed interval. So if you go back to the question, it says here it increases by 10% every hour. So that's our growth rate. It gets bigger and bigger by 10%. Now notice it says there a fixed interval. What is that fixed interval? It is each hour. The next part you're going to have to know is the number of fixed intervals. It says at the end of the question, how many bacteria will there be after four hours? So we know in this case that x is equal to the number four. Next, we have the original number. That is, how many of something is there when it starts off? And in this case, there are a million bacteria. So these are the three things that we need to know. Now, this alone, of course, doesn't give us the answer. It's the equation itself. And so what I'm going to show you here is how that equation is built step by step. And so very early on, we need to have that original number a. That is going to be the first thing that we have. Now, we want to see how much does that grow. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase that number. And I'm going to put here in parentheses, I'm going to put here 0 0.10. Why? Why am I getting this 0 0.10 from? Well, that is the number, or that is rather the percent. 10% is 0 0.10 as a decimal. Now, at this point, what we can do is we can say, if there are a million bacteria and you multiply it times 0.10, what happens? Well, it basically shrinks by one tenth. And so we know that that can't be the equation. We have to add something else. And that something else is the number one. And so you add one plus whatever the growth rate is. In this case, it's 0.10. And so rewriting the equation, it would be A, the original number, times 1.10. And put it, we put that in parentheses. Why? What are we going to be doing? And here's the part that's really interesting. We are not going to take the number of fixed intervals, which is 4, and we're not going to multiply it times that a. And I think that's very tempting. Why not multiply it times the a or even put the a to the fourth there? What we want to change and what we want to see, well, how many times are we going to increase that 10% or how many 10% increases are there? And the answer is the fixed number of intervals, which in this case is four. And we put that as an exponent. And so what we have here is a times 1.10 to the fourth power. And before we multiply that 1.10 times a, we actually have to take it to the fourth power. And that is the important part. That's like the key concept here. You're not taking a to the fourth, but you're taking 1.10 to the fourth. You multiply that number out, and then you multiply it times a, the original. Now, the wonderful thing with the SAT is it just wants you to know the following equation, that a, original number, times the number 1 plus the growth rate to the however many fixed intervals you have to that x power, which again in this case is 4. That essentially is the equation. And we can just merge these together whenever you think of growth rate. Just put it in here. It's going to be one point some number because usually it increases by 20 or 30 percent. And so you just have to put 1.30. But if you come across a question that says 0 0.10, then you know that is wrong. Or even if it says 0 0.90, then it means it's shrinking by 10%. So we don't want to do that unless it says it is shrinking. But we're dealing with growth rate questions here, so it's not going to say that. 
So now that we know this formula, let's take an actual look here at a question. Similar question, very similar. I barely just did one thing. I changed that million to N. The number of bacteria in a colony is N. And so what the SAT is asking again is, or really what it's testing is, do you understand the formula and how it's put together? We're not gonna actually give you a number and we don't want you to give us a number. We just wanna make sure you can identify the correct formula, which we can, or we can at least jump in there right away and say, well, it's definitely not A. It is definitely not B because neither of those have the exponents the way that C and D do. Notice you have a nice exponent four here and a nice exponent four there. Now, which one is the right one? Well, a second ago I said, make sure that you put parentheses around the growth rate plus one, which it was 1.10, because you wanna make sure that you are actually exponenting that out. You're saying 1.1 times 1.1 times 1.1, do that four times, and then multiplying it times N. The way that it is here, you're multiplying that n times itself. So let's just imagine there's 100 bacteria for argument's sake here, and they grow by 10% every hour. So after that first hour, you'd have 110. That's what happens when you have answer choice C, and you can plug in that information there, and that would work out to exactly that if we had an interval of one and not of four. But imagine you did that, and you put that, let's say, after two hours. So you have 10% gain and 10% gain, which is 110 increase that by 10%, you get to around 121 or exactly 121. What if we actually put that in D? What if it was n to the squared or even n to the fourth and we put in that 100? That's a crazy number, that's a million. All of a sudden, instead of growing by 10%, this is growing by much more than that. So you can see that D leads to a number that's way too big because we are taking n to the fourth power, which is the original number, not the increase plus one to the fourth power, which is what we want, which is answer choice C. Now, now that we know this, pause the video and see if you can quickly home in on the right answer. Okay, I assume that if you did this by yourself, you've paused the video and you've come to what is hopefully the right answer. Let's take a look here. We have four million. That's the original number. We know it has to be times something, the way the formula is. Look at these two pluses. That's not good. That's, we know those can't be the answer. Four million times what? Well, it says here, how many spores will there be 24 hours later, every four hours? So to find that, fixed interval, another good little formula hack here, is take total time and divide it by the length of that interval, which is four hours, and that would give you the total number, which is six. Look at B, there is no six there. It has to be answer choice C. So by barely doing any math, but just by understanding the concept and the formula, you can quickly get to the right answer. And there you have it. That's how exponential growth will show up on the SAT. Now, if you want more tips and strategies, click on the videos to your left, and if you want to learn even more, check us out at sat.magoosh.com by clicking in on the link in the description below.